in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brother and sister, in the name of Infant Jesus, we the Carmelite Fathers at the Infant Jesus Shrine, Mangalore, India, greet you and welcome you to Carmel Light, Reflection on the Word of God. It's the fourth Sunday in ordinary time, liturgical year B. The readings are Deuteronomy chapter 18 verses 15 to 20. The Psalm 95 verses 1 to 2, 6 to 9. The second reading, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 32 to 35. And the gospel that we are going to read and meditate now, Mark chapter 1, verses 21 to 28. Let's invite the Holy Spirit. O oh God, send forth your Holy Spirit into my heart, that I may perceive into my mind, that I may remember, and into my soul, that I may meditate. Inspire me to speak with piety, holiness, tenderness and mercy. Teach, guide and direct my thoughts and senses from beginning to end. May your grace ever help and correct me and may I be strengthened now with wisdom from on high for the sake of your infinite mercy. Amen. The Holy Gospel according to Mark chapter 1 verses 21 to 28. In the city of Capernaum on the Sabbath, Jesus entered the synagogue and taught. And they were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one who had authority and not as the scribes. And immediately there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be silent and come out of him and the unclean spirit convulsing him and crying with a loud voice came out of him and they were amazed so that they questioned among themselves saying what is this a new teaching with authority he commands even the unclean spirits and they obey him and at once his fame spread everywhere throughout all the surrounding region of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let's spend few moments in silence.
the theme of today's reflection is the authority of jesus my dear brother and sister the readings of today highlight the theme of authority of the word of god especially when it is proclaimed and explained the gospel passage very directly emphasizes this point it narrates that those who heard jesus considered him to be very different and far more authentic and inspiring in comparison with the scribes and teachers of their day because his teaching was new and with authority so let us today reflect on this theme in relation with the teaching authority of the church in the first reading if you have the bible diary published by us open the diary and read it for yourself deuteronomy chapter 18 verses 15 to 20 here moses reminds the people of god or god's promise of a messiah this passage describes the messiah as a prophet like moses who would speak the words of god the background behind this promise is recorded in exodus chapter 20 the people after hearing god's voice on mount horeb trembled in fear and begged moses to be their mediator that they may never have to hear god's god directly thus moses became the one who transmitted the word of god to them the promised prophet too would do the same represent the people before god and transmit god's word to them therefore the authority that moses possessed in speaking to the people came from god whose word he spoke and not from his own personality oratory or skill in fact the bible describes Moses as one who stammered and needed Aaron's help this is a very important insight about the authority that every priest possesses when he stands at the pulpit and speaks in the name of God he possesses authority authority of God his authority comes from the one who has chosen him and whose words he proclaims and not from himself thus the words of a mumbling priest carry as much authority as those of an eloquent one in the second reading again you can open the diary and read it for yourself first corinthians chapter 7 verses 32 to 35 we come to understand the purpose of the teaching authority given to the church saint paul after giving a teaching pertaining to married life concludes with the words i say this only to help you to help you to make sure that everything is as it should be and that you give your undivided attention to the lord that's the purpose of the teaching authority of the church interestingly my dear friends the teaching of the church is most criticized and ignored in matters pertaining to the moral life and marriage this reading reminds us that god has bestowed upon his priests the authority to teach in his name in order to help his people know what is his will for them and his children and how everything should be 
that's the purpose of the teaching authority of the church when the church teaches on these matters therefore it is duty bound to proclaim what god wishes it to proclaim no matter what opinion the majority may hold as right in the gospel my dear friends we find a comparison made between jesus and the scribes today we may be tempted to equate the priests of today with the many scribes of old however there is a great difference the scribes were those who studied the law and interpreted it as they thought right thus they claimed their personal authority over their teaching and had their group of followers this is what is done by numerous preachers preachers in in inverted commas preachers today too some forming sects of christianity groups of christianity around themselves on the other hand the ordained ministers of the church teach not on their personal authority but on the authority bestowed upon them by god himself through the sacrament of ordination and every person who belongs to the church also professes faith in this gift of god to his chosen ministers obedience obedience my dear friends to the church is what god wants from us this is what every saint of every century professed unconditionally saint trees of avila a great mystic carmelite saint a cloistered nun one of the most famous saints of the church and a mystic who had numerous spiritual experiences as she lay on her deathbed confessed i am and will always remain a daughter of the church i am and will always remain a daughter of the church the saints manifested a great love for the church a great devotion for all it stands for because they knew that it is the will of christ on whom the church is founded and through which he bestows his graces my dear brother and sister do not try to understand the church and its teaching without christ without christ it only leads to confusion rather look to christ and you will come to love his church look to christ and you will come to love his church let us pray at this time we pray for nivya norona from belmont mangalore who is celebrating her birthday we greet her in your name and pray for god's blessings on her also we remember to pray for the departed soul of burtul rodriguez from honnavar may jesus grant him the eternal rest and we remember all our intentions let us pray lord help me to hear your word in the voice of your priests amen my dear friends i would like to end this reflection with a beautiful quote from pope francis which we have printed in the english diary that we have published he speaks about the reading of the bible how beautifully he says you see what would happen if we turned back when we forget it what would happen if we turned back when we forget it if we opened it more times a day if we read the message of god contained in the bible the way we read messages on our cell phones 
got it the bible today we are speaking about the authority of jesus he says the bible contains the word of god the most effective tool in fighting evil and keeping us close to god if we always carried god's word in our hearts no temptation would distance us from the father and no obstacle would take us off the path towards god the path towards good pray for god's blessing my dear friends may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen my dear friends i would just like to share with you uh, a beautiful life experience of one who hears this uh, carmel prayer or carmel light you see she is a married woman and she is doing housework and she has three children and her husband is working abroad as a cook so they are not very rich and the first holy communion of their younger son is coming in the month of april and she called me and said father if you know a uh, orphanage let me know because my son is going to receive the first holy communion and i would like to celebrate it in an orphanage they are orphans and they don't have such kind of joy and i would like to celebrate the first holy communion of my son in an orphanage and also i would like to distribute bible diaries to all those who come for this celebration more than this my dear friends she is a sick lady and she says every day i have to take 12 tablets and you know what is special in this lady every saturday and friday she is fasting till 3 o'clock and for what her cousin is praying for the gift of a child and this lady is fasting and praying that god may bless her cousin with the gift of child my dear friends we are speaking about saints we are speaking about holiness don't we have saints among us i am really touched by uh, the holiness of this lady and there are many of you who have such wonderful uh, life in christ i will be grateful if you can share with me that can inspire many of us not only lay people but also priests like us it can inspire us it can help us to be more committed to be more generous to be more industrious may god bless this lady bless her family This is Father Stephen Pereira, Carmelite priest. And if you would like to share, uh, if you would like to receive this audio directly from my hand, kindly WhatsApp your full name and place, and my number nine one. That is the code number nine four eight one two six three two two nine nine four eight one two six three two two nine. and also if you'd like to insert your name in the forthcoming bible diary that is 2019 please whatsapp me your details thank you god bless you once again see you tomorrow